Hey, 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 good morning. And I actually was like, I'm gonna be a little late, but I was not going to compromise on my coffee because guess what? It is the Boss Queen morning show, your show for all things manifestation, money mindset, and marketing so that you can, of course, create your own queendom according to your own rules because you know that you are no longer available than anything less than having it all on your terms. Oh my God. So happy. I think it's Thursday. Happy Thursday morning. Now we're keeping these shows pretty brief because I want to make sure that you get good can con content. No, content. Good content that you can implement. And of course, you are hanging out with me on my couch. Um, and yesterday we talked about the five elements to create a beautiful morning manifestation ritual. So by all means, if you haven't watched yesterday, go back because today I'm going to give you the 20% then that actually, you know, create the 80% of your results. You know, you have heard of the 80-20 rule. And I believe that really it's about 80%, you know, having the right energy, mindset, you know, really that alignment, feeling in flow, connected to purpose, because honestly, purpose, flow, alignment, all of these things are freaking everything. It's got to make sure it's like a hell yes, you're like everything that you, you know, call into reality is from a place of, oh my God, of course, you know, having the vision and the intention and the focus and all that sort of stuff. And we can talk about that all day. So I think the 80% is definitely that what we covered yesterday, the five foundations to your manifesting um, ritual, which were meditation, uh, mindset, move, move, uh, move, uh, move, oh my God, um, uh, 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 money and magic. Magic is the gratitude. So those five things, I believe, make the five beautiful elements of your morning manifesting ritual. And by all means, everybody should give themselves the gift of that start of the day. Um, now, Depending on what you're doing, you may not be able to spend hours and hours on it, but you don't have to. You can do all of that in like half an hour to an hour. Hey, good morning, Melita. So I believe that like, you can do all of that half an hour, hour if you don't have a lot of time, but I definitely think that morning practice is the absolute basis. So that, I believe, is your 80%. The other 20%, what are the 20% that are going to actually move, your, move the needle in your business is, are we going to stick with the M words? Okay, you know me, I love playing with words. So the other two M words that I'm gonna give you today is message and marketing, okay? So these are the 20% that you should, not that I'm gonna tell you what to do, because you know, you are, <laughs> you have the free will of choice, um, but my suggestion would be message and marketing. So once you've done the manifesting mindset, you know, spiritual alignment for you to be in a beautiful place of, yep, I know what I want, boom, everything I do. Now we're going to the aligned massive action, okay? So the massive action is another M word. Massive action is actually message and marketing. So basically, share your message. What, like this is me sharing my message. It's also technically me doing marketing because I'm also promoting, positioning myself, presenting myself, um, and sharing my message. So it's a bit of both, right? It's creating content, it's sharing my message, and it's building visibility. So it's kind of like message and marketing. But every day you need a way to find, to share your message. So write a blog, write your post, do a podcast, speak, you know, do videos, have your own little morning show, whatever it is, you need to be somehow sharing your message. What is it that you stand for, right? What is it that you believe in? Why are you here to change the world? And I believe like, it's really cool if you can give yourself the gift of connecting into your purpose even deeper every day you know like and I know that that's what I know for me it's definitely something I'm really honing in on connecting deeper 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 into my soul deeper 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 into my purpose deeper 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 into what on earth am I here to do and I know what I'm here to do but I feel like there's always layers upon layers upon layers upon layers so that you become true to your soul's purpose and you're not out there you know copying or mimicking all the bullshit that's been you know, spoken into reality so many times, it's your thing. 
And even though you might do the same business or, you know, same as someone else, so you might be a business coach, you might be a marketing coach, you might be a graphic designer, a healer, a spiritual teacher, a coach, a mentor. I mean, what have you not, whatever you could be. I mean, there's so many manifestation coach, so many mindset coaches and mentors, that sort of stuff. But still, I believe your soul blueprint is individual. I believe that you can have a similar message or even same message. Like for me, it's all about, you know, <laughs> divorcing your story and marrying your truth. Like I have this big thing of not settling for mediocrity, but showing women that it is indeed possible to live a life by design, to have it all. I'm talking about all, right, on your own terms, if you're willing and courageous enough to shine your light, to speak your truth, to show up to the fullest expression. And I help you unlock that soul proofing so that you can become the sovereign woman. And so that maybe, you know, someone else might have the same message like you. And it's like, yeah, totally. I believe in having it all. I believe that you have the freedom and the power, you know, to create it all. Even if we share the same message, it still is different for you because everybody has their own unique blueprint DNA way of that energy being out expressed into the world. Do you get that? So for you, it's about, well, what is your message? What are your words? What are your thoughts? What are your beliefs? What are your emotions? What is the soul journey that you're going on that you want to share? Like I've had a massive cry, not massive, but I had a bit of a cry this morning because yesterday I was sharing about, um, I was talking to a friend I hadn't seen for five years and we did a book workshop together, like launch your book in 48 hours or write your book and launch your book in 48 hours, which was the book that I wrote called Confessions of a Weight Loss Junkie, which I never published because life just completely unraveled for me at that time afterwards. We spoke about that. And part of it saying how like life just really hit me, like it was probably the most rock bottom moment in my life to date. And one of the things was like having to give up my dogs for adoption. And to this morning, I, I obviously, I dreamed about this dog that I left for days. And I was like, why? And it was so weird. And then I kind of wanted to come back. It's like crazy dreams. I wanted to um, get my dog, get this dog. It wasn't actually not anything like my dogs, but it was this dog. Anyway, when I got there, it wasn't a dog anymore. It was a bike and I got it and it was all safe, random. But I tuned into that this morning and I just shed tears. And I obviously realized I just still hadn't forgiven myself for the fact that I had to give up my dogs because I love these dogs. I'm going to get emotional again. I love these dogs. Like, they were so beautiful. However, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's, it's you know, I, I did some forgiveness work around that and then I can talk about it. And, you know, that's me sharing my message, expressing me, expressing my journey. Um, and so, like, what are you doing? Like, all the things that you do daily to connect to your purpose, to connect to your soul, to work on you, you know, forgetting all the BS, you know, that you thought you had to do, letting go of all of that and becoming more true to your soul essence. You're going to have your own journey, your own words, your own experiences, your own thoughts, your own triggers, your own pain, your own healing. And so, like I said, right, we can have the same message in a way, we can do the same work in a way, but we're still different. So, Long story cut short, please, how are you sharing your message every day? How are you showing up every day and you're sharing your message, you're sharing parts of your healing, your thoughts, your emotions, the things that really trigger you, the things that annoy you, the things that enlighten you, the things that, you know, that you're so passionate about, you know, like why are you here doing what you do? I mean, at the end of the day, if you have an online business, you are so in a beautiful position to help other people. Why are you so, like, why are you so keen to help other people? I know it's not just for your own sake. I know it's not just for your own sake. I know that, yes, of course, the freedom, the lifestyle, the flexibility, the money, the opportunities, like the travel, the community, the growth, the contribution, all of that is a byproduct. And I know that's a big why, but you're also here because you have a gift to share with people. So if you're not messaging that, <laughs> you know, if you're not sharing that, well, then, of course, you're not going to create that impact. Of course, you're not going to create the influence. And of course, you're not going to make the money because people don't know what the heck it is you stand for. And then you're just becoming a copycat who shows up online pretending everything is like fucking dandy. Look at my life. Look how everything's so perfect. And I'm not saying that you need to only show the deepest and darkest sides of like, oh, my God, I cried about my dogs today, you know, <laughs> moments, um, all of it. But every day you should be sharing your message every day, okay? Number two, without getting too crazy into it now, because uh, I can get carried away clearly, is marketing. Okay, so 
the other parts of so the 20% are going to move the needle in your business after having done the 80%, which is the energetic alignment work and manifesting and energy work and mindset work and money work <laughs> is obviously marketing. So you got to get out there and get yourself across. Like you got to be visible you got to promote your stuff. You got to let people know, Hey, guess what? I'm running a 20 day free money mentality makeover challenge, which is the truth. It's starting on the third of um, June. So if you want to be part of it, it's freaking mind blowing. Like I actually had a chat with my partner who I'm doing it together on one of my other businesses, my online affiliate marketing businesses. I said, Hey, you know what? I could easily charge for this. And you know, part of me is like, wow, you really want to do this for free? And I'm like, yes, because I want to put my money where my mouth is. I want to give people an, a showcase and experience of how valuable my work is because it is freaking valuable. But also because I see so many people in pain. Like seriously, I had a conversation with another friend yesterday that, you know, that friend who I caught up and she's in pain. She is in pain. Like she is broke. She's broke and has lost her spark, her passion, her, like her excitement for being able to make money with her, with her purpose, with her work, you know? And I'm like, wow. So obviously that was, you know, needed. I needed to see that. I need, everything happens for a reason. I needed to have that conversation with that friend to realize, oh my God. Yeah, absolutely. If you're not having the confirmation already about doing that work for free, yes, you're going to do that because exactly like that, there are so many people in pain. And I know that I've got beautiful gifts, experiences, knowledge, wisdom, all of that, because I'm very beautifully gifted and also done a lot of work um, and I've been in the game for a while that, um, you know, I can share what has worked for me to share on others. And I know it's going to come back tenfolds and hundredfolds, of course, you know, of course. So, you know, that is me now doing marketing again, technically, even though I didn't really plan for it. But what is your marketing strategy? And I'm not saying like you should have a marketing strategy, but what are the things every day that you do to promote your stuff, to get yourself out there? Because I think, again, one of the biggest struggles you will have, you know, making money online is because you don't know how to truly position yourself. Like, what do you do? How do you help people? You got to position yourself. You got to let people know hey, listen, I am here to help you, right? Um, obviously, you know, I always talk about the manifestation, money, mindset, and marketing, but really I'm here to get out that sovereign woman to help you align your soul, soul blueprint to get you to be able to speak your truth, to shine your light, to be the fullest expression of you so you, you can become a soul success, like a sold out soul success. Go from struggling to sold out, right? Like how do you, that's my part of my positioning. How do you position yourself? Super important. How do you present yourself? No, I'm not saying presenting as in, oh, you you got to be super professional because you know me like look I'm in my gym gear right like I am not nowhere near a professional but I am presenting myself as my authentic self you know doing my little morning show with my coffee I'm also positioning myself presenting myself promoting myself and packaging my my services my gifts up every day in a way you got to do that you got to sell you got to sell every day. You got to let people know, hello, this is how you can work with me. And you got to promote your stuff, whether it's free or whether it's pay, right? So I always reach out. And when I do say, hey, can I, if I can help you with whatever we're talking right now. So today you'd be, hey, you know what? Come into my free money challenge that's starting on the 3rd um, of June, message me. You can get into the Facebook group. I usually call out and say, if you want to have a deeper conversation around the topic that I'm talking about, come into my Facebook group, right? You can find an Instagram if you swipe up into my bio called the Soul Boss Screen on the Rise. And I usually have a call to action after every piece of content saying, hey, you know what? Speaking of, you know, marketing and messaging, if you don't know how to move the needle in your business, if you're still stuck because you think you need to work at the right strategy or you you understand that maybe it's got to do something with your mindset, you know, your money blueprint, then of course, reach out and let's have a conversation. There you go. I am letting you know how you can work with me. And it's not sleazy, not at all, because honestly, like I have come to realize that selling is a sacred gift. You know, it's a sacred service because what I'm doing is off service. It is me genuinely knowing how to help you, knowing what results I can get you. And it's not coming from like, oh, look at me, how fucking fabulous I am. It's because I've done the work and my clients get amazing results. You can speak to any of my clients at any given time. But that's beyond the point because I'm not here like to do the biggest like self promo. I'm here to let you see what it's like 
marketing and messaging every single day. So get your message out there. Let people know what you stand for, whether it's written content, spoken content, um, you know, whether it's offline, online, you got to do it. You got to get out there. People need to know, especially in the online space, you got to stand out from the crowd and you only can stand out by you showing up and sharing your message, expressing your truth, sharing, you know, what's, what you're going through every single day in some shape or form, letting people also know obviously how you can help them. So go into the marketing, whatever it is that you do, help them, help them, help them, let people know how you can help them. You know, there's so many different ways of marketing, right? Through like, if it's content, you know, creating a freebie, creating, working on your funnel, working on your sales pages, working on your offers, working on your business model, right? Getting out there, having conversations, doing follow-ups, hanging out in groups, building connection, you know, building tribe, going out to networking. I mean, there's so many things you can do for marketing and messaging, but I believe it is the 20% in your business that is going to move your needle towards where you want to go. Because yes, we all want to make more money, but you know what? At the end of the day, money is just a byproduct of you being, of course, first of all, in alignment to your purpose, in alignment, feeling freaking amazing about life. And secondly, showing up every day, being courageous, being like vulnerable, vulnerable, being authentic, showing up, showing your message, but, you know, express the fullest truth of who you are, show all of you, and then get out there and let people know how you can help them. That's it from my end. If you think that was valuable, then please, of course, share it. Share it, share it, share it, share the love. Give me some feedback. Give me some hard hashtag replay if you're watching it at a later stage. And of course, yes, make sure you come into my Facebook group, Soul Boss Queen on the rise, if you're not there already. And of course, if you want to do the Money Mentality Makeover Challenge, 21 days for free to help you, of course, improve your relationship to money, then let me know. Send me a message. You can come into the group that kicks off on Monday, the 3rd of June. In a meantime, enjoy the rest of your coffee, enjoy the rest of your day, and of course, permission to be, do, and have it all granted. Bye!